Hello, 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 Blaine, hello, Buck, hello, Brad, Dave, Trent, Ben, Jeff, Pat, and last but of course not least, hi, Susan. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting with me today. Uh, my name is Ethan. I'm with a company called Web Rank Management. Uh, we specialize in website rebuilds and SEO services. Um, I spoke to Susan today. She said this was the best email to send this. Uh, informational video over to. It's basically just going to give you a couple free tips and tricks on how to improve your online presence and hopefully generate some more income with your website. So the three things I'm going to be talking about in this video are content, backlinks, and citations. So right off the bat, content. So I just want to say, first off, you guys have a beautiful website. Um, you'd be surprised how some of your competition works. But uh, Google really does like to see between 1,000 and 2,000 words of content rich or content relevant keywords per page on a website. That just kind of tells Google that you're the expert in whatever field your business is nested in. So I see right away it looks really, really pretty, but you're missing a good bit of words. That'll help you sky or that'll help you climb to the top of the uh, Google search results much faster. Although just by looking at this website, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you probably already have a marketing agency. So I wanna say right off the bat, I don't wanna step on anybody's toes. I completely respect your business uh, relationships with them. Um, if you're not, I figured I'd kinda just scoot my way in here. But if you are, just tell me no. I completely understand, I promise you. Anyway, so after content, we have citations. So what happens basically whenever you search, for example, roofing in Lincoln, Nebraska, you're presented with this exact page. The first things up front are going to be your sponsored Google ads. These are companies that are paying Google to put their website up at the top. So we do offer this service, um, but we use it in conjunction with SEO services. So that way you're still making some revenue based on the ads while your site is ranking organically. Um, I don't personally love ads just because I personally don't click on them. And I know a lot of people don't. Um, a lot of people have ad blockers installed on Google Chrome, so they won't even see the ads. Um, and directly below that, we have the or, uh, we have the Google Map Pack, also known as your Google Business Profile. Now, this is really, really helpful for your local area. So this is what happens when someone searches for a business or service and then a town location or even putting near me. You'll get presented with this Google Business Profile Map Pack. So how do you get your website up here, you might be asking? Well, the answer is you use citations. Now, what's a citation? That is basically a directory out on the internet, something like Angie's List, for example. Angie's List, Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Backdoor, etc. There's a lot of them. Uh, pretty much anywhere on the internet where your business's name, address, and phone number all appear and all appear the exact same way. Google takes that data, they validate it with, or they cross-validate it with other websites, other directories, other citations. And if it all matches up, then they boost you to the top of your local map pack, making it so that way about 46% of people that are looking for a service will end up clicking in through here on these first three. Then directly below that, we have the organic section. Now, this is ideally right here where we want to get your website up to. Um, so the way we do that, basically, I went ahead and just clicked on this website for White Castle Roofing and just to see what it is that they're doing because, you know, success leaves clues. So you notice right off the bat, they have a lot more content baked into their front page. Now, based on my quick estimate, I don't think it's quite that 1,500 keywords that I was mentioning to you, that sweet spot, but it, it does look pretty close. They probably have, I don't know, maybe maybe a 1,000 if you... Uh, the metadata even on their pictures probably has some keywords baked into it. So they probably have close to a thousand words. So that's something you could beat them with right off the bat. Go in, put in a blog post, type in something about your uh, about your company, how you started, where you're going, some reviews, maybe some uh, testimonials, just anything that has some content uh, rich keywords baked into the website. So what's a keyword exactly and how do you know which ones are good? So I use this tool over here. It's called Ahrefs or Arefs. Uh, I pay for I pay for it every month. It costs me about 200 bucks. You're free to do it yourself. But it basically just buys data from Google and tracks it all. So when someone searches, for example, roofing in Lincoln, Nebraska, it searches or it, it tracks them searching that. And then it also tracks what do they click on from that search. So you can see right here that organic section I was telling you about based on where they are in the number one spot on Google. This website, this business is getting about 
1,200 clicks onto their website every month just from being in that top spot on Google. Um, now, imagine only about 30% of those, just say they have a bad sales rep. Imagine 30% of them get turned into clients. That's, I don't know, what is that, 300-ish new clients they get every single month. That's awesome, especially if you're charging $10,000 for a new roof. Like, that's that's money flying off the wazoo. I mean, I, I couldn't begin to imagine what that looks like. <laughs> but how do they get there? They basically rank with, again, that content, those citations. And very lastly, we have backlinks. A backlink is very similar to a citation, but a little different. A citation has your uh, address or your business name, address, and phone number, whereas a backlink is just a referencing domain, so another website that is pointing back, so it mentions your website on them. So this could be anything from, say, roofing.com, uh, sidingandgutters.com, homedepot.com, niche relevant. Niche and location relevant, I should say. Those are what Google really likes to see. Niche and location relevant domains pointing back to you, giving basically giving you their seal of approval. Gives you a big thumbs up saying, yep, if you're looking for roofing, these are the guys to go to. So, uh, losing my train of thought over here. Oh yeah, so based on their website, their 1,400 keywords that they're ranking nationally for, I went ahead and took a peek at them just to see what they look like. And you can see right off the bat, we have White Castle Roofing. Not surprising, that's their company name. But it's what is surprising is they get searched 800 times a month. And of those 800 searches, they're getting clicked on 535 times. Now, that's pretty awesome. Um, not not the general norm, especially not for just a company's website. So that is pretty, really, pretty, pretty fantastic. They must be really well known in the Lincoln area. Uh, so we're going to come down, White Castle Roofing, Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, roofing link in Nebraska. So these two right here, they're very buyer intent keywords, meaning that they have what they're looking for. So roofing and where they want it. So link in Nebraska, you can see this one gets searched about 200 times every month. And of those 200 searches, this particular website is getting 57% or 57 of those clicks. So again, with that being a very buyer intent keyword, you can assume that the majority of these will probably be turned into clients. And as we saw, the list goes on and on and on. They have 27 pages of <laughs> niche relevant keywords that they're ranking nationally for on, Google's, uh, on Google. Um, so for fun, I went ahead and took your website as well, just to see where you guys are at. And it looks like, again, I mentioned, I feel like you guys probably have an SEO company already. If not, you guys are just doing fantastic as a start. Um, you're getting roughly 150 clicks onto your website every month. Again, fantastic. Love to see that. It looks like it climbed up a good little bit since June, which has a little bit of a plateau. Then it came right back up in September. Again, fantastic. Love to see that. Oh, excuse me. I would love to see if we can get it up to your, uh, your competitor's rates. With that, you already have 35 referencing domains, giving you 122 backlinks. And your domain rating and URL ratings are actually, I think they were higher, 8 and 9. Okay, they only have a 21, uh, this is out of 100, by the way, a 21 out of 100 on the domain rating, but they have a zero on their URL. So that tells me that the majority of their, um, the, the, the main reason that they're at the top of the organic section is because of these referencing domains. It tells me that their website itself isn't quite what Google likes, but they really, really love all the recommendations. It's basically just a big popularity contest when it comes to Google on that. So a little roadmap we can do. We basically, if you decide to sign up and work with us, we will be taking all of these referencing domains. We're going to be adding your website to them, getting you just about the same amount of backlinks. And then we're going to try and double or even triple, if possible, the number of referencing domains and backlinks coming in. That way, you're not only beating your competition, but you're far exceeding them, making it near impossible for them to catch up to you. Uh, and the way we do that, again, is with those backlinks, we're going to put in more citations. So that way, you're seen right up the top. In this map pack, they see your, your business's name, address, and phone number, and they even have directions to go straight over to you. And then very lastly, the easiest one that you can do right now yourself, if you'd like, is content. Just sprucing up your website, even getting on chat GBT, typing in a couple words and seeing if it spits out an article that's keyword relative, that could help you out overnight. So with that, I hope you like everything that I had to say. Um, if you have any questions, please email me. I love to hear what you have to say. If you want to chat, again, just ask me and uh, we can set up a meeting with a, a date and time just to sit down, chat, see 
where you want to go with your business and what I can do to help and see if we're even a good match for each other. Um, if you didn't like what I had to say, please tell me. That's my biggest thing. I, I love to hear constructive criticism because that ultimately really helps me to help the next business over. So uh, with that, I, I hope this has been informational, informative, and least of all fun. And I hope you have a lovely rest of your night. Talk to you soon.